Welcome to the Bradling Podcast, your home for expert wedding planning advice. Today we're talking all about tips for planning your honeymoon. So it's commonly forgotten that one of the most fun things that happens during planning a wedding is actually after the wedding is over. And it's the honeymoon vacation that you get to take with your fiance, actually now your spouse, after the wedding is over and done with. So we have a few tips for you to help you plan your honeymoon so that way it goes off without a hitch. No pun intended. First, start early so you can get the best prices. You would want to book your honeymoon eight months prior, if at all possible, this way you have time to shop around and price check. Next, work together. This should be a decision that you and your spouse make together. Pick a place that both of you would like or that means something to both of you and also have an agreement on how much money you think you should spend on your honeymoon. Now, don't copy somebody else's travel itinerary. Make this trip custom to what you and your spouse would like to do and consider using a travel agent. First, they have inside knowledge on deals and discounts and on the way that certain hotels and all-inclusive hotels work. It can make your entire planning process less stressful. And even though you think that you could probably shop around online yourself and find really good deals without the use of a travel agent, what are you going to do when you're overseas and somebody stole your purse with your passport inside? If you hired a travel agent, you can call them and that company can help you navigate what you would need to do to have a replacement passport so you can continue your travels and, you know, at the end, leave the country. Also, if something happens like your baggage is missing or damaged or your flight is overbooked, a travel agent is just a phone call away, usually with an emergency number, to help you navigate what you would need to do to make your honeymoon get back on track. If you booked online, sorry bud, you're totally on your own. Now be aware of any hidden costs like airport baggage fees and what's included in your all-inclusive vacation package and what's not included in your vacation package. Sometimes you can expect to have a resort fee once you arrive at your vacation destination. And this could be $50 to $100 a day for your entire stay. Having a travel agent, again, will really help you be able to navigate these additional hidden fees so that way you know that you're not overspending or you don't find a surprise bill when you get to the location and what you thought was your spending money goes right to the hotel before your vacation truly even starts. Now, you really need to know when you're planning that you don't have to leave for your honeymoon right after your wedding. I can't tell you how many brides and grooms that I've had tell me that their flight leaves at 6 a.m. the next morning after their wedding day. Please do not do that to yourself. It's going to be stressful enough planning a wedding and making sure that everything for your event goes well. Plus, a wedding is more than just like a 5 to 10 p.m. event. It's all day. Between hair and makeup and getting ready, setting up, and then also the photography, it's going to take hours and hours before your wedding even starts for you to prep for your wedding on the day of. The last thing that you want to do is be on site at a wedding venue from 9 o'clock in the morning until midnight and then wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to catch a flight the next day. Give yourself a nice break of at least a day or two so that way you can catch your breath and relax and just enjoy each other. Also, typically, you're probably going to have a lot of friends and family you haven't seen in a while in town for your wedding. So if you leave for your honeymoon at six o'clock in the morning, you miss the opportunity to spend some extra time with those friends and family with, let's say, a brunch the day after your wedding's over. Now back to the honeymoon. When you are there at the honeymoon, you need to have a balance between activities and relaxation time after you get there. Of course, you want to celebrate being married and just be with your significant other. So make sure that you don't run yourself ragged trying to be a tourist and see all the sights. So schedule some surprises just to keep it interesting, like a couple's massage or a special dinner to add excitement to the trip. You can do some research on what your location offers. You should also do some research on the type of room that you're going to be in. You can help find the best room for you, and plus, there might be a better price, or maybe you could upgrade to a room with a view. You definitely should let your hotel know that if you have any special requests, but also let them know that it's your honeymoon if they didn't ask previously. Sometimes hotels will surprise you with a free couple's massage or a spa package or a free breakfast or even just a cute little sash that says congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. across the door during your honeymoon. 
For more expert wedding planning advice, follow us on thebroadlink.com.